All right guys, welcome back. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about generic views. So first, let me explain what they are. So basically, whenever you make a website or go to a website, you're gonna notice that all the websites that you go to kind of have the same pattern. They either display a list of objects or they have details about one object, two different pages. So if you think about um, a website like YouTube, Whenever you search for video, it just has a list of all the videos that you can scroll through and find your video. And then when you click one, it has details about that video. Of course, the player and all the comments and related videos, whatever. So what about, I don't know, a website like Facebook? Well, on your newsfeed, it has a list of everyone's post. And then you can click either, you know, someone's profile or picture or something. And then it has details about that object. So again, it all comes down to two things, a list of objects in details about one single object. So I'm sure no matter what website you think of, they always have these same patterns. Now on our website that we're making right now, we're kind of doing the same thing. The homepage is just a list of all of our albums and it's gonna be the cover photo and you know the artists and stuff later on whenever we design it properly, but it's basically a list of all of our albums. Then whenever we click one, there's details about that individual item. So the album logo and all the songs, tomato, tomato. So since Django realized that people were just creating the same patterns over and over and over again, why not help them out and speed up the process a little bit? So just a heads up, before this tutorial, I pretty much cleaned out everything in the index.html and details that HTML and I got rid of all of the favoriting form because that's not the proper way to actually favorite songs that was just a little example so I pretty much stripped everything down except you know just uh, displaying the bare basics like um, the album name and you know the song titles and tomato tomato so there you go just want to give you guys a heads up so now with that being said I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this so just go ahead and delete everything to do with favorites. And actually, let me go ahead and delete everything inside views. And I know you guys are like screaming like, oh my God, what are you doing? We spent like 20 tutorials learning about those. Everything I learned is deleted. Guys, I promise, like I said, you guys are gonna love me after this. So instead of the way we've been making views before, which were basically functions, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make something called generic views. So from django.views import generic. Now we also need to import albums. So from models import album. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm just gonna make two generic views. <coughs> Oh, sorry, I got black lung. All right, so the first one is just gonna be a list generic view, which is gonna list all of our albums. And the second one is gonna be a detail generic view, which is gonna give us details about that individual album. So it's gonna be the exact same as before to the user, but we're gonna write a lot less code. So how do we make a generic view? Well, instead of functions, we actually use classes. So for the home page, since it's the index page, I'm just gonna say index view. Now the type of view we use, we actually inherit it. So there are a couple different types. Of course, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about the list generic view and also the detail generic view. But remember, on the index page, it's just a list of all of our albums. So we're actually gonna inherit from generic list view all right so what we need to do now is the first thing we need to specify is what template we're using so over in templates index.html of course we're using index.html to display the albums so i'm just going to go ahead and write template name and set this equal to music slash index.html so that just says whenever we get a list of all of the albums, plug them into this template right here. Pretty easy. Now there's only one other thing that we need to make in here and that is a query set function. So basically we're gonna say, we're gonna make a function called get query set. And all this is gonna do is we're gonna query the database 
for whatever albums we want. And in this example, we'll just go ahead and get all of them. So return album objects all. And guys, you know what? This is actually it. This is all you need to do for this generic view. Now, before I run this, I actually need to complete the rest of this code. So that's all we need to do for the home page. And let's go ahead and make the details view now. So detail view. And again, whenever you look at the details of an album, it's not a list of things, it's just details about one object. So the generic view for this is generic, where is it? Detail view right there. And this is even easier. So since you're not actually getting a list of objects, all you need to say is, okay, first of all, what model or what type of object are you trying to get the detail of? And we'll just say the model equals album, trying to look at the details for an album. And the last thing is the template name, just like this. So whenever you give me that album, what template do you want me to plug it into? And that's just the detail view or detail template right there. So detail the HTML. Now, the only other thing or the only other file we have to change is this URLs right here. Now, of course, I just want to delete this first of all, since we're not even using that anymore, the favorite. So not a whole lot is going to change in this file, but a couple of things I want to point out that are very important is this. You know how I said that each URL pattern has to be hooked up to a view function? Well, right now we're using these classes. I mean, this class doesn't even have any functions or methods inside it. So what we need to do is instead of these functions, we actually need to reference um, the class and then convert it to a view. So you just write view for each one, and then you write the class name, which is index view. And then since you actually need a function, you just call as view. So we're pretty much saying, hey, we're using a class, but since you need a view, just go ahead and treat it as a view. So we're gonna do the same thing right here. So the class of this was detail view. And of course, as view. Now, the last thing I wanna point out is whenever you're using a detail view, it actually expects the primary key. So we're pretty much gonna give it the primary key of one if we want the Taylor Swift album or two if we want the Myth album. So instead of album ID here, I'm just gonna write PK for primary key. And that's it. So now check this out. Hopefully when we refresh, we should see, huh? You see, I thought we were supposed to get a list of albums right here, but we got nothing. And the reason for that is the last piece of the puzzle. You see, whenever you query all of the albums right here, it's pretty much gonna return a list of all of your album objects. But it returned it, but it didn't know what variable to store it in so we could use it in our template. How did it know that it was supposed to be called all albums? Well, by default, whenever you use a list view, it's gonna go ahead and query this and it's gonna return it in an object called object list. So if you just wanna name it object list, then check it out. Refresh this and boom roasted, everything looks fine. Now, one other thing that you can do is if you actually made this and then you gave it to your web designer and he was like, eh, I hate this name object list. Why can't you just name it album list? It's so much more intuitive. Like, shut up. You can actually do that if you want. So again, the default name, whenever you return a list of objects from the list view generic function is gonna be called object list. But if you ever wanna override it, then you just have to do this. Make a variable called context object name and again, by default, what's happening is it's essentially equal to this object list, but you can change it to anything you want, like all albums. And now your list of albums, you can just refer to as all albums, just like that. So refresh and everything's good to go. So again, one last time, there were a bunch of patterns that people were using over and over again whenever they were making websites mainly displaying a list of objects and displaying the details for a single object. So instead of having to write all those functions like you always do, instead of what you can do is use these generic views. So it's a lot cleaner and check it out. We now made 
two entire web pages and look how cleaner this is than just using view functions. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.